Rain. Right, he's myself. He's held back, man. Okay? <laughs> yeah, how about Sam Yoda Shai? Well, yeah, how would Shai? Okay, he's holding back right now. You know he wants to get back into the devil. Okay? And then two thirds of our people, they're gonna have to be beaten up too, man. They're gonna to be they're gonna to take part in that destruction as well. <laughs> the Lord ain't messing around. People think people think, you know, they 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 go into the churches, you know, they 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 have these they sing these songs uh, for Jesus. <laughs> you, know, think, you know, thinking that he's going to come back, man, you know, in, in, a, in a peaceful manner. No, he's going to come back to bring destruction. Oh, you see? I got a precept on what about our people you were just saying. Okay. Keep going, brother. Now I will cry like a travailing woman. Right. He, he's going he's to let out a battle cry, man. When the, when, when the father finally says, son, go claim your kingdom, man, your house is going to be like, ah, you know what I'm saying? He's going to come back ready to, you know, to whip some ass. You know? <laughs> I will destroy and devour at once. I would destroy and devour at once, man. He's not coming to play around. You see? Yahweh Shai is, man. He's so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is uh, for, all, for, all, for all of, all of the, 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 the children of Israel who, who have uh, decided to make themselves an enemy to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. This is Jeremiah 15 and 2, and it reads, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith Yahweh, such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So, you know, hey, you Israelites who have chosen to, to, to disobey, rebel, continue in your wickedness, your, your, your lot has already been set. Right. You know what I mean? There's a designated amount of y'all that's gonna catch the sword. There's a designated amount of y'all that's gonna starve to death, that's gonna end up in the concentration camps. The Most High has all sorts of terrors. Because a lot of you think, you know, well, you know, because you've heard that if you're an Israelite, you're just going to come back in the kingdom. But you have no idea. Before you make it back to the kingdom, you're going to have to come before the king of terrors. <laughs> you know? You don't, you don't understand what you're going to have to go through to get to that point where you're going to end up shamefaced. You know? For an extended period of time. You yeah. just have no idea. Right. And, and we don't know how it's going to be. Man, he, he could be there sitting there yelling at you, man. Man, we don't, we don't know. I mean, I doubt he's going to be talking nice to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. Just, I mean, imagine when your parents stare at you sternly. Right, right. The fear that that brings when you have your parents there. So imagine the Heavenly Father giving you that 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 look. Man, his look alone is going to be you know, bold. Right, right, you know? right, right. So your trousers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Like when you were younger, you did something wrong. Your father yeah. looked, looking at you, man, with that look. Before he'd even speak. Man. When that voice would rumble in your in your chest, boy, man, you get it together. Your mama could be telling you all day long, stop, man, you're not doing that. But when your daddy, get your butt, yo, you know, man. Who's that? I got one. All right. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to get this in the good news. This is uh, Zephaniah chapter 1. And verse 14 in the Good News Translation. And it says, The great day of the Lord is near, very near and coming fast. That day will be bitter, for even the bravest soldiers will cry out in despair. It will be a day of fury, a day of trouble and distress, a day of ruin and destruction, a day of darkness and gloom, a black and cloudy day, a day filled with the sound of war trumpets and the battle cry of soldiers attacking fortified cities and high towers. The Lord says, I will bring such disasters on the human race that everyone will grope about like someone blind. They have sinned against me, and now their blood will be poured out like water, and their dead bodies will lie rotting on the ground. <laughs> on, on the day of the Lord, on the day when the Lord shows his fury, not even all their silver nor their gold will save them. The whole earth will be devoured, will be destroyed with the fire of his anger. He will put an end. A sudden end to everyone who lives on earth. Yes, yes. Yeah. 
you know, we know not not everybody, not everybody. Gonna, everybody goes, but hey, there's gonna be a lot of destruction, man. He says that the, the earth's gonna reel to and fro. Imagine what that's gonna cause. It's gonna cause all kinds of what? So-called natural disasters. You have earthquakes, volcanoes everywhere, tsunamis, tidal waves. Man, people gonna be in a, in a, in, a, in a hell of hurt, man. You got one? Yeah. Okay. You got one too. Okay. You got this is uh, Revelation 14 and 20. And this is going with the and the wine press was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the wine press even unto the horses' bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. So hey, when the brother read, it's gonna be blood. Hey, the blood is gonna run deep, man. You know, right? It's like. Woo. Well, that goes back to what Isaiah, Isaiah 63. That, you know, the wine press, man, stopping that wine press. Yeah. That, that, all, all that is is symbolic of how much death is coming, okay, to, to well, especially in America, Babylon the Great, but even throughout the whole world, man. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. You got another one? Yeah. Well, hold yeah. on, let's just let go ahead, brother. Let's go back to Exodus chapter uh, 15, verse 3. The Lord Yahweh Shimei HaShai is a man of war. Right. That's right. The Lord Yahweh Shimei HaShai is his name. Right. Well, basically, that, that don't sound like no love, because he's all saying that, uh, basically, that, 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 uh, that the Lord loves us. Well, basically, that, that don't sound like no love to me. He's coming back for war. He's about to relax. Yeah, he's about to relax. But he's coming back for war, man. Yahweh Shimei HaShai is coming to destroy him, man. He's coming, he's coming to lay this place so-called America, Babylon the Great, at waste, man. It, it's not going to be nobody inhabiting this place, man. You know what I mean? He has, he has, he has, he has a, a anger against Esau, Edom, man. And he's coming to lay vengeance on this, on this damn devil, man. And two-thirds of his gone. It's gone. Two-thirds of his people as well, man. And we always say, man, you getting caught up in somebody else's punishment. You know? It's yours because you, you know, you rightfully so. You refuse to repent. When your, when your opportunity was yet presented, you know, but nevertheless, hey, this, you, we, we've already dealt with our judgment. We've been dealing with our judgment for, man, since, since, since the Babylonian captivity. Yeah, and each time we've left, done yeah. nothing but transgress, turn back to our wicked ways, our fathers would fall asleep and the next generation would completely act as though they didn't remember. Right. You know? This is Revelation 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open, right. and behold, a white horse. And he that sat up on him, and he that sat up on him was called faithful and true. Right, that white horse represents that chariot, man. Power. He that sits, yep, yeah, represents power. Because those chariots come with what? A glory and power and glory, man. Your energy. He, he that sat on was, was, was what? And he that sat up on him was called faithful and true. Right, speaking of Yahweh Shai. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. See, in righteousness he come to judge and make war, man. So the Lord, he's like, just like his father, he says that the brother read, Exodus the 15th chapter, the I am a power of war, man. Okay? Uh -huh. See, like, 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 so like father, man. And they're both, and they're both, they're both powers of war, man. And who's he bringing with him? <laughs> well, keep going. That's it. <laughs> Verse 12. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right. And on his head were many crowns. Right, many crowns. Why? Because that, that represents all the, the, the rulership that he's going to bring down. Okay, the governments, the, the, the uh, you know, these kings of the earth, man. See, beginning with Esau, Edom. Keep going. It says, and he had a name written that no man knew but himself. Right, name going into a noma, meaning a, 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 a reputation, man. You see? An authority. Okay, an authority. Verse 13, and he was called with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. Right, again, speaking of Yahweh Shai, man, he is the Word. Keep going. Verse 14, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. Right, the armies. Who's, who's the armies? Okay, the Lord has many armies. 
okay, but hey, this is speaking about the, the angels, man, coming in the chariot. Clothed right. and fine linen, right. white and clean. Right, right, because they're pure, man. Okay, the angels are pure. One, fifteen, and his and his, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. Right, that with it he he should smite the nations. Right, right, because all these nations are going down. They're all they're all gonna they're all gonna take part in the destruction. Okay, beginning with Esau, you're going. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Right. And he treaded the winepress. Going well, back to the winepress, you're going. Of the fear, fear, uh, fearness, fierceness, and wrath of the Almighty power. Right, right. So the, the Yahweh says coming with the with the with the, with the anger, man, with the uh, the wrath of the Most High. Hey, the the Most High is angry. Well, what's that one angel he's bringing with him? Oh, that's Michael, man. Yeah. Yeah. What is he known for? For, for uh, war, man. War. Yeah. Hey, and if you notice, man, you know the angels have to be supremely powerful because they, they mm. said that their 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 garments they're going to be perfect, right? And they're not going to get nothing on them while they literally lay waste to you people, man. You know what I mean? Can you imagine that, <laughs> like? A man enters into battle pristine, and when the battle is done, he's still going to be pristine. Right, not, e not even going to break a sweat. Not, not even, even going to break a sweat. That one bejewel of sweat is going to drip off of him. And they're going to slaughter many. Yeah, it says it. What does it say? Uh, uh, yeah. 66, right? Yeah. Yeah. The slain of the Lord shall be many. many. Uh, I, that's like uh, that, Jeremiah 25. That's exactly. What else? Let's see Jeremiah 25 and 33 too. Yeah. Okay, explain the Lord's people one out of the earth. Right, right. Grab, grab uh, are you there? Yeah, I got it. Oh, grab, start at 30. Yeah. All right, yeah. Start at 30. Where is that? Right. This is uh, <clears throat> yeah, Jeremiah uh, chapter 25. <laughs> and uh, actually, can I start at verse 29? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 25 and verse 29. For lo, I will, bring, I will begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. Right. And should ye be utterly unpunished? Right, right. right. Well, go ahead, brother. So he's, he's going to bring evil upon the city called by his name, which is the children of Israel. Right. And okay. he did that already. Right, right, yeah. right. Yep. And he wants to do it again, because two-thirds yep. of our people, yep. and they, they got to take part in that destruction. Yep. Yep. It says, and should ye be utterly unpunished? <laughs> right. That's speaking of the heathen nations. But well, first and foremost, Esau Eden, the so-called white man, he's going to get the worst punishment out of all the nations, all right? Because he shed the most blood across the face of the earth. Right. Number one, right. blood. The, the, the champion, he has the champion belt of blood. Champion champ, yeah, exactly. He's the number one undefeated, bloodshed on the face of undefeated, earth. Undefeated, but guess what? The Yahweh Shek is going to knock him out. Right. Uh, he's going to do more than that. <laughs> Man. Yep. It says, Ye shall not be unpunished, <laughs> for I will call a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, saith the Lord of hosts. Right. Therefore, therefore, prophesy thou against them all these words. All right, since so we're out here doing prophesying week in and week out. Letting y'all know that the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place, destroy Esau, even the so-called white man, his rulership, his kingdom. He's going to burn all that up, man. All of it. All right? It says, and say unto, uh, it's clock here. And say unto them, the Lord shall roar from on high. Can we just read that in, in Isaiah, the 42nd chapter? <laughs> he's going to come out with that battle cry? Yep. And utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. Right, going back to that wine press, man. The stomping out of these damn nations, beginning with Esau. Come on, come on. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord hath a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Thus saith Yahweh, that the power of hosts, behold, Evil shall go forth from nation to nation. Ooh, those are chariots, man. God. And a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. All right. Just like you read in uh, the third chapter. Yeah, exactly. Right, so... You know, this is the slain of the slain of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is gonna be from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. Alright? 
You know, they're not going to be lamented, you know, because there's not going to be anybody left to cry for them or to bury them. All right, the Lord, he, the people that would be crying and burying these dead bodies, they're going to be killed too. All right, only the elect is going to make it out. Right, yeah, yeah, it's going to be no, no, you know, those trucks that come around and pick up the bodies. No, nope. hey, none of that's going to be happening. Yeah, they're going to stink. People are going to be left all over all over the, the earth, man, just like, like, with the brothers, like, like shit on the ground, man. You know, you know, you, if you have a dog in the yard and, and, and you don't clean up his poop for a while, you got shit everywhere. That's, that's how people going to be. Yeah. First job for the, uh, for the yeah. elite. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your first job, you've been walking around the earth, never employed, always dictating what gets done. You know what I mean? Hey, ruling over people. And you that's why he thought his fall is going to be so devastating. Because he's going to fall from the pinnacle of society all the way to picking up dead bodies right. and burying From riches to rags. Right. Riches to rags. <laughs> from gold chains to, 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 to brass and iron chains. Shackles, you know what I mean? Shackles. <laughs> over, 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 not even overnight. That's you know what I mean? Like lightning, boom, and next thing you know, you're waking up. Like your brother said, when you knock, you get, he gonna knock you out with a right, wake you up with a left before you hit the ground, and you're gonna be in chain. <laughs> well, let's prove that. Get somebody to grab one of Psalms 149. You got it? Okay. That's why. It's, that's why it's good to tell y'all, damn devil, to what? Rejoice and be glad, Because huh? it's your, your king. You guys gonna have a great fall, man. A great fall. And it, 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 it's, it's time, man. It's time for you devils to, to get off your high horse, off your fight, man. Because you, you didn't get all this happen around the world and think that nothing is gonna happen to you, you devils, man. So your house by shooting on the is coming to pay y'all visit, man. And it ain't gonna be no visit with ice cream and cake, man. It's gonna be with thermal nuclear missiles and, and, and the beams that's gonna come out of the chariots, man. Right. Raise the light. <laughs> That's gonna be the real part of work. Yeah. It's uh Psalms 140, uh yeah, 149 and verse 4. For the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahashad had taken pleasure in his people. Right, in his people, Israel. The beginning with the elect, He will beautify the, the meek with salvation. Ooh, that, hey, that's what we're seeking for, right? We're, we're uh. seeking salvation. That's what we want, first and foremost. Hey, we want to be saved out of this damn uh, uh, hell that we're in. Uh, you see? Keep going. Let the saints be joyful right. in glory. Right, and the saints is who? That's Israel. They, again, beginning with uh, that remnant. You know? Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Right, right, right. Because finally, when we, have received, when we receive salvation, okay, Lord willing, we be amongst that, that number to receive it in that first resurrection, we're going to be what? At rest, at peace. Yeah. At peace. Verse 6, let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth. Right. And the two-edged sword in their hand. Right, and that two-edged sword is going to be literal, man. We're going to have a literal two-edged sword. Again, Lord's what we be amongst those men, okay, that, that, that uh, you know, have that blessing to come down, man. To, to come down, you know, New Jerusalem. The elect, keep going. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. Right, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, keep going. And punishment upon the people, right? Yeah, keep going. To, to bind their kings with chains. Right, bind their kings with chains, man. The, 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 the rulers, the leaders of these other nations with chains, like the brother was saying. Okay, we're, we're just proving it, keep going. And their nobles, right, the elites, right. the nobles, with fetters of iron. With fetters of iron, man. They're gonna go right into captivity. You want more on that, brother? Yeah, one more. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah get it. Verse nine: To execute upon them to judgment, the judgment written in their dishonor, have all his saints right. praise the Lord, y'all. Right. To, to execute the judgment written. The brother read it earlier. What's that? That was a uh, Revelation. Uh, 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 yeah, thirteen. Okay, those those that that kill with the sword shall be killed with the sword, man. See, those who led into captivity shall go into captivity. That's that judgment that's written, okay, for, for Esau to start off with and the rest of these nations. Okay, we got to Yeah, bring it up. All right, this is, uh, Psalms chapter 72. Psalms chapter 72 and verse 4. He shall judge the poor of the people. 
He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. All right, so you got to judge the poor the people. All right, that's talking about uh, that's talking about the children of Israel. All right, those are the poor of the people. And he's going to save the children of the needy. All right? right. So it says in uh, the book of James that the Lord has chosen the poor. All right, that's the children of Israel. Once again, in the parable of Lazarus, uh, the, the, uh, Lazarus represents the children of Israel. All right? And shall break in pieces the oppressor. And we know who the oppressor is. That's Esau here. All right, the one that was given the power of the sword, the wicked of the earth. Or right? the one who's in rulership right now. So that's just, that's just a you know, prophecy of what the Lord is, is going to do. Against them, he's going to completely break them in pieces, all right? And then the children of Israel, those that the elect that escape, they're going to rule over the devil with the rod of iron, rod of iron. Right? And that's in the middle. Yep. But he got a light, fuck, fuck, right in your head. Yep. Okay? <laughs> hey, and if it breaks open, it breaks open. Yep. It's just how it is. Bust your head to the white meat. I got a revelation too. Revelation chapter 2 and verse uh, 25. But that which ye have already hold, already hold fast till I come. Right. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. Right. And, 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 and that's the elect, man. Again, Lord's will. Hey, we want to be a part of that, that, that first resurrection, man. We want to be part of that 144,000. Right. Yeah, I mean, if we do, I mean, of course, say we just make it in. Like, what did Keith David said? You want to be a, a, a doorkeeper, right? Hey, we just make it in. If we're the 144,000, if I'm, you know, if I'm the 144,000, okay, or, or whatever they number multitude, I'm the last one. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse, verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, right. as the vessels of a pot, as the vessels of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Right. All right, so, you know. Yeah, that, that's very literal. All right, they're gonna be they're gonna be broken into pieces. All right, their kingdom, their rulership, and then literally, literally some of them they're gonna be chopped up. <laughs> that's Psalm the second chapter. Yeah, yeah I, was about to, I was about to go there. All right, yeah. Psalm the second chapter. Ask me, and she gave the healing. Aaron, Aaron, and 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 I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the other uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And that's what that's what's gonna happen, man. Speak on it, brother. Speak on it. <laughs> you know, all these heathen, <laughs> we gonna we gonna possess them, man. As what? As slaves. You know what I mean? Concubines. You know, this is what's gonna happen, man. You know. And who who gonna, who gonna rule over the, the heathen? The, the, the children of Israel, man. The elect of the children of Israel, man. We gonna have the Most High gonna give them give y'all to us, man. We gonna, we gonna snatch you up, man. You going in? You gonna go in the chain? We're not gonna ask you. We're not gonna we're not gonna ask you politely. Can you please go? No, we are gonna snatch you up and put chains on you, man. Hey, read that again, brother. We uh, we, we went off a little bit. Damn devils, man. Man. You can speak on it again, brother. Hey, I'm, I'm a... <laughs> hey, that was good, brother, but you don't do it again. Hey, <laughs> hey, ask him nothing for you. It says, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know? You know, the heathen, we won't. They're gonna be they gonna be our slaves, man. Right. They're gonna be our slaves, man. Concubine, all that, all that man. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because everything, look, we you we gonna we gonna make we gonna make you heathens, man. Go uh uh uh, uh abide yeah. by the law, statutes, and commandments of y'all by Shimei on shot. And if you don't, we're gonna punish you for it, man. Just like you made us uh 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 follow your Unrighteous decrees, laws, man. Well, guess what? We we gonna make you follow the laws of your Abba Shemel Shah. And if you don't, we gonna bust your head to the white man. We gonna bust your head to the white man. Cause so check this out. You gonna you gonna keep the laws that you commandments. 
when the, when the, when the uh, uh, Sabbath come, you're going to keep it. You're going to keep the, you're gonna keep the holy day. They're going to look forward to the Sabbath. Yeah. That's gonna be the only day that they're gonna get rest. That, that's the only time. Because guess what? You don't wanna be you don't wanna be my slave. I got something for you, Esau. You don't wanna be my slave. I don't want you. I, I, there ain't gonna be no rest for you. Son just like son man, just like you didn't want our people to rest, guess what? You ain't gonna rest, damn devil. You ain't gonna rest. We well, don't give you no rest, man. You know what I mean? We're going to do to you double what you did to us. And that's that's righteous, man. Because we serve a righteous power, man. You know what I mean? Tell, we serve tell, a righteous tell, power, man. Tell, tell, uh, I, I got to preach up on that. Yeah, bring that. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 60 mm. and verse 10. Mm -hmm. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Uh -huh. And their kings shall minister unto thee. Yeah. For in my wrath I smote thee. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. That's, that's what's coming, man. That will be utterly wasted, man. We don't destroy, you don't obey. See, this is this is the thing about, uh, you know, God by us, us being a hopeful elect. You know, Lord, what are we making, man? We want to see you devils, man, do what we tell you to do, man. Just like you forced us to do what, what you what, what, uh, what you wanted us to do, guess what? You're going to do what we want you to do, man, through the spirit. But when we do it, we're going to do it through righteousness, man. We're not going to do it through wickedness like you damn devils did, man. Everything gonna be done in righteousness, man. And that's that's a good thing, man. I, I got I got a piece of little right. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. <laughs> For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob uh -huh. and will yet choose Israel man. and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. For servants and handmaids, See? and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right, <clears throat> and that, that main oppressor, obviously Esau, even the so-called white man. All right, going to rule over our oppressors. We're going to take them captives. Oh. It says, uh, "Yeah, I'm not sure, man. It's just, it's just not, it's not uh, connecting, so." I'll probably just end the stream, and what I'll probably do is I'll just probably, uh, uh, I'll probably get it from one of your brothers, and I'll just up re-upload it. We, we have a lot of technical difficulties tonight. Yeah, man, it's just, it's, 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 it's you know, we're in hell, brother. Yeah. The word must go out, though. Yeah, I'll probably just end the stream, and then whatever it gets, it gets. And then we'll just, hey, it's a beautiful thing, because yeah. it's letting us know that the devil is resistant. Yeah, keep going, brother, keep going, brothers, keep going, keep going. So the goal I'll just end the stream and, and we'll just uh we'll just continue. Inevitably the will of the most high is being fulfilled. Right, so right. It doesn't really matter what this devil does, this technology, whether or not he corrupts it, whether or not he tries to stop this word from coming out. Hey, the word is going out. And and literally it's going out all over the all over the planet right now. All over all over this this, this Babylonian nation, the word is going out. This is uh, this is what you devil's about to do, man. Uh, Isaiah forty nine and twenty three, and kings shall be thy nursing father, and uh, queens thy nursing mother. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust from thy feet, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai. But they shall know they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. And we're not going to be ashamed because we're waiting for y'all by Shimei Hashai, man. We're waiting for y'all by Shimei Hashai to, to make y'all our, our subjects, man. To make y'all our servants, man. To make y'all our handmaids, man. You know what I mean? And this is what's coming to you damn devils, man. Y'all going to bow down and lift the dust up off our feet, man. 
And I can't wait for that day, man. And that's Lord what, willing, man. That's why I said that Esau's fall is going to be so quickly and so great. Because he's literally going to go from being kings and queens to serving in servitude. Right. So that, that, won't be, be, that won't be literal, brother. That just means that they're going to be under under our subjection. Under our subjection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I, I don't want no goddamn you no. licking my feet. No, no. <laughs> no. I don't want no devil licking mine. But I mean, they're going to bow down to us. They're going to be yeah. so subjections to us, man. Hey, maybe a toe. No. But, but he can hold his mouth there. Wipe the toe no off. off, off, off kick all of his shit down his throat. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, when he bow down, down he's going to get his whole, all of that just put down and swallow all of them. All you know his teeth giant, right down his throat. And that bah! giant, that, 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 that giant transformed foot. Man. Man. It's going to be like Heinz foot. It's going to put a foot in his jaws. You know uh, what I mean? That's going to be his kiss. Now, we know we know that that's not little. We know we know we make fun. But, you know, y'all going to be su our subjects, man. Y'all going to be up under us, man. And, 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 and it's, a, it's righteous, man. You know? The more, you can't mock the most high, man. Whatever, whatsoever you sow, you're going to reap, man. You know, what we put a page in that scripture, man. You, you guys going to... You guys gonna weep with y'all soul, man. Yeah. You know, y'all, y'all, y'all cause all this slavery and havoc on the earth, man. You think that the Most High is not gonna uh, uh, repay you for the things that you've done? You got to be paid for that, man. Most High is gonna, he's gonna take vengeance on you, damn devils, man, for the havoc that y'all done on this earth, man. Not just, not just on this earth, but like the brother said. Which I did to the apple of the Most High's eye, man. You think that you think that Israel is the most the apple of the Most High's eye? And he gonna just allow you to do that and nothing happened to you? Right. Y'all bugged out, man. Y'all yeah. bugged out, man. That's an interesting statement, man. I'll just re-upload the uh, whatever one off you, brother. It's all right. Lock it, lock it. Just uh, like, man, it's damn devil, man. The prince of the power of the air. Yeah. Yeah. You and know? you think that then it would be strong down there? Yeah, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just uh, I don't know what it's going to But it's Esau's technology, man. But, uh, hey, and he wants to put that in, just to, <laughs> just to never let that, that topic go without being spoken on, no matter what, you know? He wants to put this tired piece of technology in you. He wants right. to make you part of his internet of things. Right, right. You know? Right. Psalm 79. It says, O Yahweh, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Jerusalem in, in heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of the saints, of thy saints, and to the beasts of the earth. Their blood have they shed like the water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Lord, wilt thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? That's half, I'm happy with you. Uh, pour, pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. Right, and none, none of these uh, heathen nations are calling upon, well, they, you know, they might call upon Jesus and uh, right, you know, Jesus, right. yeah, all, all that, you know, BS, but they're not calling upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The scripture says, what, the name of the Lord is dreadful Let's among the, the heathen. heathen. Right. Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, <clears throat> but they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. Mm. All right, it says, oh, remember, not against us, uh, for former iniquities. Let thy tender mercy speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Right. Help us, O power of our salvation, in the glory of thy name, and deliver us, and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Mm, three more verses. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their power? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servants which is shed. Let the sign of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power and preserve 
thou those that are appointed to die, right. and render unto our neighbors sevenfold unto their bosom. Right, completion. Uh, yep. Complete destruction, man. Their reproach wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. So we, thy people and sheep of thy pasture, will give thee thanks forever. We will show thy, we will show forth thy praise to all generations. Yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. That's all 79. That's, that's, that's it. That's the whole chapter. Yeah, so, uh, so anyways, man, yeah, man, that's that, that was a uh, beautiful Psalms of what the Lord is going to do, all right? You know, acknowledging, once again, that all the nations where, where the children of Israel were scattered, had devoured them, they shed their blood, all right? Particularly here in the place where they were sold, the daughter of Babylon, I, which is America, and the Lord, he's getting, getting ready to recompense upon them sevenfold, a complete right. number of evils upon the people that have, have devoured us, right? all right? right. Yeah, right. So what, what, and the beautiful thing about that is that he's going to allow us yeah, to, to bring about that retribution. Yeah. Right. We're not only going to witness it, but we're going to take part. Yeah, what is that, Ezekiel 25? Yeah. Okay, good. So go ahead and grab that, brother, and then we'll close out with that. Psalm 37, and start at 35, and read on that. This is Psalms 37 and 35, and it reads, I have seen the wicked in great power. Right, good. Is that, is that power being given into the hands of the wicked? Yeah, keep going. And spreading himself like a green bay tree. So a, green, a green bay tree, it's, it's, a, it's a symbolic for what? Prosperity, man. He's got he's got devils that prosper in this world, man. Yeah. And they continue to prosper. But that's the blessing. Yeah, and you can see one of those trees. It's big, really, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they yep. stretch out. They stretch out. You know what I mean? Yet. He passed away, and lo, he was not. Right. <laughs> yeah, he passed away, was not. And that's what's coming okay, to, to Esau. Okay? And, and also the rest of these heathen. Well, after a thousand years, Esau is going to be totally gone. Okay, But you see, for, uh, you, once uh, the Lord brings his destruction here in Babylon the Great, there's going to be no heathen left there, man. They're mm -hmm. all going to be destroyed. Right. And what does the scripture say? We're going to look at it. Is this the man that caused it? Right. Right. <laughs> the earth to tremble? Right. right. This, that, this, this dog? Yeah, that one. You know what I mean? I saw him, but he could not be found. Right, I saw him, but I could not be found. And it's going to come a time in the kingdom where, we, where the hell did that guy go? <laughs> He's going to be gone, man. No more, no more pasty, you know, uh, you know, so-called white, you know, looking uh, you know, animal, man. Yeah. Hell, 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 and male. Joey Pantlow. Yeah. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright. Right, Mark the perfect man, because that's Israel. Okay, beginning with the elect. We're perfect, why? Because the Lord has made us perfect. Okay, we're going to be perfect once that new covenant is what? It's brought, it's brought forth, man. We've got law, statutes, commandments, and in our inward parts. Okay, we're not going to be able to sin no more. Not going to be able to go off. Not even going to think about going on. We're going to be perfect. Okay, the scripture says we're going to be what? Like him. For the end of that man is peace. Right, the end of that man is peace. And that's, that's what we want, man. We're looking for peace. Okay, we're looking for that for that rest, man. Keep going. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. Right, the transgressors shall be destroyed together. Beginning with these, these, uh, these Edomites, okay, these heathen nations. Hey, two-thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed right along with them. Okay, the only thing is they'll come back. Okay, but it's going to be it's going to be brutal. You can't think you're just going to uh, get destroyed and go right back in the kingdom. Say no, the Lord. You don't know how long the Lord's going to put you in that fire for, man. You, you know, man, that, that's you know, that's scary. You know? The end of the wicked shall be cut off. Right. You know? But the salvation of the righteous is in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Right. And again, that begins with the elect of Israel. He is there in the time of trouble. Right, and we know what, it was coming. Take the trouble's coming, man. Uh, hey, we're going to need Yahweh by Hashem Yosheim when that time comes. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, and, uh, hey, and this is the part, this, this, this is what you just said. And Yahweh by Hashem Yosheim shall help them right. and deliver them. Right. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Ooh. See, and that's what it's all about, man. It's trusting Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai. Okay, trusting, hey, trusting what the scriptures say. What does the scripture say? My servant shall eat 
my servants a drink. You see? It says it says the, the sinners of Zion were afraid. Yes. You see? I got you. you see that? So hey, of course we're gonna sin, but we can't live in it. See, so we gotta trust the Yahweh Shemi Hey, it's gonna deliver us. Okay? And with that, you know, if anybody got anything else? I, I do have one thing. Uh, okay. And what, what you said about uh, about sinning, you know, um, it's, a, it's a big difference between between willful sin and between sinning and ignorance. Right. As in, because uh, I, I had just found this recently, uh, number 15, it goes into that. Number 15, it says that those who sin presumptuously, meaning like it's premeditated, you, you know that you're about to do something, you can do it anyway, you don't care, to, that soul should be cut off from the people. All right, so, you know, uh, just, just a message close out that you know we can't be taking the Lord's grace for granted. Man. Well, well what did Paul say though? So Paul said it's fine. Right, right. Paul said what? He said, he said it's not me that sins, it's sin that lives in me. See? That, that what I want to do, okay, I, I, I can't do. Okay, but that that I that I don't want to do, that I do. See, I mean so we, you know we're gonna go off. We we can't we can't live in it, man. There's a, there's a big difference between living in sin, okay, and not even having a mindset of repentance. Like the most most of these people in this world, man, they keep on uh, committing iniquity. They don't give a shit, but they keep doing it. What did, what did you just say? What did Paul say? That that I would not right. I do. Right. So he doesn't want. He doesn't to do want it. to do it's it. It's not something he's setting out to do. Right. And when you set out to do it, it's called iniquity. Right. right. Because you're adding sin upon sin. Right. And what did it say when you do that? You crucify the Lord, the Yahweh Shai again, afresh, up and again, right. with time. You know what I mean? And now there's no more. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you got, brother. Let me close out with that. All right, this is Book of Sirach, chapter 5, and verse 1. Set not thy heart upon thy goods and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. Concerning propitiation, 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 be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And that goes into exactly what we were just saying. You know, when you, when you, a lot of people they just do whatever they want to do, and they say, Oh, the Lord, he got it. You know, he that's what he died for. Right, right. Okay? No, it don't work like that, man. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin, and say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation rests upon sinners. Last verse I'll close out. It says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so I mean that's like I said, that's going into two thirds of our people, man. Okay, they're, they're, you can't wait. Okay, don't don't think you have tomorrow. We don't know what we got tomorrow or not. Okay, we 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 might not even make it home tonight. We don't know. See? Yeah, it's gonna say that you know, tomorrow's not home. No, it's not. Right. So we, we, you, you, you don't you don't know you're gonna die tomorrow. You don't know. So what? Seek the Lord while He may be found, man. Right? Seek Him now. Don't wait till tomorrow, man. Right? You don't know if you got you got tomorrow. You know what I mean? Now how are you gonna find the Lord? Through the prophets and the men of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how you're gonna find the Lord, man. Seek him now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Because right. you don't know if you're gonna you don't know you can walk out in the street and a truck hit you, right. run you to shoot the hell over, man. Right. You don't know. Right. Why? Because the Lord's judgment is going out every day, man. Right. So you don't know if you're gonna make it, man. Right. Right. You know what the thing is we wanted to get through that song the twenty first. Uh, on down, we got what two, two verses, yeah. eight, nine. Hey, but you know what? That, that, that's good though because it, it, it you know, it, it, it let us bring out the the lesson that hey, the Lord has enemies, man. Okay, that's not just the heathen nations. Okay, beginning with Esau, but that's even two thirds of our people. You see, now if you become an enemy to the Lord, you're gonna be destroyed. That's all. That's all there's to it. I like to say you're gonna be brought to the king of kings. <laughs> one more. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 20. Oh, it says, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. 
But if the wicked shall, will turn from all his sins that he had committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live and not die. All his transgressions that he had committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him. In his righteousness that he hath done, he shall live. Let's get down to verse 24 and close out with that. It says, But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass that he hath trespassed, and in his sin that he hath sinned, in them shall he die. All right? All right, let's look at more. You know what? Go, go down to where it says, I, I, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Okay. And, and then we'll, we'll, we'll read on down and then we'll close 20, up. 23. Let's get that one out. Skip it. Okay, get yeah, that. Verse Ezekiel 18 and 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? No, the, the Lord does not pleasure that the wicked should die. That's speaking about the wicked Israelites. Okay, but it, it must be so, man. It's already written. Two thirds will be cut off and die here in Babylon the Great, man. And wherever else the Lord's allotted, you know, for those people to be put to death, okay, throughout the world, man. It's already, it's already written. God. Saith the Lord, your high boss, was shy. And not that he should return from his ways and live? Right, right. Question mark. So, Lord, he would rather, he'd rather have you do that. Right. But, but you know, a lot of people, two thirds ain't gonna do that, man. No. Because it's written that they're not gonna do that. No. Nope. Now, skipping on down, Ezekiel 18, <clears throat> and uh, verse uh, 25. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? Right, right. Because Jake, he's, he, he's uneven as shit, man. <laughs> right, right. You know? Yep. You know, you know, he, he blames he blames the Lord, okay, for you know. Well, I mean, it, it's all you know, the creature of some vanity, okay. But hey, man, this message has gone out, okay. If, if you're not, if you're gonna listen to this message, okay, and not listen to it, yeah, it's on you. says when a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and dieth in them for his iniquity that he hath done shall he die and again when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth that which is lawful and right he shall save his soul alive all right so i think that's a good close out man that's plain and simple all right you know you want to you want to uh continue you want to be wicked the lord gonna kill you even even if you even if you were doing right before you take your hand off the plow and you, you start you start uh you know committing sin and iniquity then none of what you did before is going to be mentioned what did you leave off that brother 26 or 27 read, read 30 to 32 we'll close out with that okay that'll be it there's no more to read okay. <laughs> ezekiel 18 and 30 therefore will i judge you our house of israel right everyone according to his ways right according to his ways okay according to the things you do man the, the scripture says what everyone shall, shall face the, the judgment seat whether you did good or bad, man. Self so paraphrasing. Yeah. Yep. It says, uh, <clears throat> it says, uh, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. You hear that? That's key. Repent, man. Turn back. Feel sorry for what you've done. And don't do it anymore. To the best of your ability. Right. Turn yourselves from all your transgressions so iniquity shall not be a ru your ruin. Right, right. You keep, you keep on committing iniquity upon iniquity, you're going to be a ruin, man. You're going to be destroyed. Yep. Cast away from you from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why would you die, O house of Israel? And how do you do that? By keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. Okay, keeping a mindset of repentance. See, keeping on your mind, you're keeping your eyes single. Okay, on what? I'm pleasing the Lord. Right. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord. Right. Yeah, how about me outside? Right. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live. Yeah. Turn yourselves and live me, man. So, so Lord's will, you know, the blessing was edifying. You know, we're gonna close out and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, And double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, from which led his true peace and blessings to the house of David, doing his work in all righteousness and truth and sincerity. We want to say shalom to the whole full elect. Shalom and a ball ball.
I'm up to get up from here right now, brother. <laughs>